Hey, Hypnagasia. Uh, I'm Time. He's Cable. Last time we started doing like the bonus stuff, just uh, took a look at some of the other levels that we previously things that we previously did not do. Uh, now we're going to uh, climb up the Skeleman and get into this nice painting. Oh. Sweet beginnings. Welcome to Candyland, everybody. It mm -hmm. is Candyland. Yum. I can't wait to get diabetes. This would be the place for it. Diabetes. I hope you fight the chocolate fudge monster here. That'd be kind of scary. Oh, the chocolate fudge monster. Like, he's trying to, like, get all over you, but, like, he's also making a <laughs> concerted effort to get in your mouth and, like, down your throat. <laughs> That'd be pretty scary, I'd say. Hello. Thing. Ever since the Spore Games concluded, we've been trying to rebuild. <laughs> Harold. Well, hi there. I haven't seen you around before. This is my house, but you can visit whenever you want, stranger. Eat it if you want. I don't give a f. <laughs> It'll grow back tomorrow. Wow, wow. Wow, <laughs> man. Let's go up there and start licking the wall. <laughs> Say, since you just strolled in, you should go see our super rad king. He lives in the big castle down the road. You can't miss it. He and I are old friends. We play chocolate checkers every weekend. Uh, come back and hang out anytime. See ya. You should go hang out with King Bubblegum, see what he's about. <laughs> it's fine. The Candy Kingdom is completely okay. She. It's just Princess Bubblegum with a mustache. <laughs> Fake mustache on you. Yeah. <laughs> There's a signpost. No, choice is time. I don't know which way to go. The North Path, King Candy's Castle, East Path, Hermit Woods, which... Careful, this mother hacker's walking at you like a tonberry. He's going to stab you in the gut. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Look how slow he's going. He's like, <laughs> once I get my lantern and then walk the other way and get my knife, you're <laughs> You just stay there for the next, uh, like seven hours. Stay there until it's convenient for me to stab you. <laughs> oh, hello. How do you do? Isn't today just beautiful? My eyes sometimes can't handle all the colors. Are you on a way to visit our castle up north? Just make sure you take the left-hand path. Anyways, don't mind me. I'm just going for a few laps around the candy grove. Catch you later. No, I'm going this way. Colors? Yeah. They look like colors to you. They look like colors to you. It fades back in and everything's grayscale. Everything's either red or a screen face. It's like, oh, these colors <laughs> suck. Mm, a bit busy right now. King Candy needs as many of these trees cut down as possible before the deadline. The more room we have to populate and grow our candy flora, the better. At least he thinks so. You shouldn't stray, too f stray, stray ahead too far. A crazy hermit lives over there on that drab-looking island. Never seen him before. Just heard he hates being around people. What a sad, lonely life. No, these are all just... regular trees that they've been... uh, candy-forming the, the planet with, I guess. Oh, hell, they're an invasive species. <laughs> Ever since the Spore Wars ended. Spore Wars? I thought there were games. It was a game to us. It was a game for us. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so curious to check out that island over there for some time now. That old hermit couldn't be that bad, could he? I guess it doesn't matter. He tore down the bridge we built a little while ago. How will I ever sneak over there? Mm. Toss mm. me. Mm. Throw him. <laughs> just throw it. But like, agree to it, but then just dunk him over the edge. Just be like, get out of here. <laughs> That's one less alien to worry about with a weird alien candy terraforming. Goodbye. Goodbye. Can I have one of these axes, please? We trade in diabetes here in the King Candy Kingdom. Mm. Oh, I don't have diabetes. Yeah, for now you don't. Oh. I... Look behind me, though. Do we? <laughs> oh, oh no! There it is. Diabetes. He says like elongating the dweeb, <laughs> holding his hands out. You just see diabetes rising up in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you summon it. You say dweeb. <laughs> dweeb. Dweeb. Nerd. <laughs> Zooms in on the diabetes. Just says nerd. <laughs> it's on sunglasses. Oh, I hate the diabetes. Just being a cool guy. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him so much. Francine. It's pretty hot up here sometimes, but the chocolate never melts. How weird is that? Our king is a laid back kind of dude, so he's nice enough to let us play in the courtyard fountain to cool off. I'm sure if you're at, you'll let you ask, he'll let you too. I'm sure he won't be some kind of a horrible, evil dictator or anything. 
This is just the candy version of the level you were in, Ken. It is just the candy version of the level I was in. You're going to go back to the regular version to get the shard, and you're just going to see, like, the regular Skull King, but he's going to have, like, Twizzlers shoved down his throat, and he's like, honk, 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 honk. I'm a skeleton, so I can't choke to death, so I'm just stuck like this forever. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> Wow, that's horrific. You say pulling a Twizzler out and eating it. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, the diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. There's a pile of trash here. Looks fresh. Will you touch it? A ye or nah? <laughs> you touch the trash. Something wriggles out from inside. Oh. Hi. Hello, JPEG. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the spawn of Debutus. It's a wild meat. Oh my god. Yow. Yowza. You pet the meat. It seems very friendly. Oh, <laughs> Goodbye, baby. baby. Yow. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> the guy who made this soda raptor or whatever, whatever his name was, mm -hmm. he was memeing up the storm that day. <laughs> He's played Golden Light. Oh, baby. A gumbo. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. They all they barricaded with Eggo Waffles time. You're not getting through this one. Oh. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. Hey there. I've never seen you before, so you must be some sort of traveler from a far off land. What's your business at our castle? Uh, to see the king. Is that right? Well, King Candy isn't expecting anyone and hasn't let me know of any visitors. I'll have to move along now. King Candy sends his regards. <laughs> Hey. Who's gonna shoot you? <laughs> <laughs> Come back when you've got a real reason to answer, enter the castle. I don't let any, just anyone in the castle. King Candy recently came across a rare artifact and has been busy studying it. Move along now. I guess I go. It's called insulin. Are you are you aware there's a a meat worm out back? Don't you talk about the meat worm? I'm gonna club you over the head with my giant lollipops mace oh, thing. Uh, okay, I just. I just wanted to make sure you knew. Okay. Get the f away from me, I said. Okay. okay. Wow, that guy's super aggressive when you mention the meat worm thing. <laughs> they really didn't like that. That was like a huge 180 to his <laughs> initial demeanor. That was amazing. I'm intimidated by that little guy now. He did have a very large, like, lollipop mace. It looked like it would probably hurt a lot if I got hit by it. It would probably break. It'd probably break before my skull did, but, like, he'd still hit me really hard. I'd, have a, I'd mean. have a good bruise. Uh, all that force would go through my skull and my brain, I bet, so I'd probably still die. <laughs> Let's not piss that guy off again. Yeah, probably the best. This gummy lumberjack is too busy chopping away and doesn't notice me. Scream! Oh, oh that was close. <laughs> He's not even looking when he swings that back. Uh, careful. This guy looks like he just got murked by somebody. <laughs> this gummy is napping oh, peacefully. Did you see him? Oh, did you see him? Oh, the carrots came through and slashed me in the gut. Uh, blah. Uh, he says, like, vomiting syrup. <laughs> Do I... Can you seal his axe and chop this down, perhaps? E... No. Sneak over. Um, but... Can you, like... Kick it with like a karate kick. I don't have like a karate kick or anything. Can you karate chop the already mostly chopped away? The thing that's so chopped away you can see in between it. <laughs> I could easily just, just like karate chop him. push that and have it fall over. But um, it would add, currently with the way it is, it would actually fall, fall towards you way, instead yeah. of backwards. <laughs> and... It's fine. It's fine. Time you're gonna get swept away. Never, it's fine. I guess I will look around until I find what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Hello again. I'm almost to my lantern. You better be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again. Yep, still walking. Heard through the red vine. You couldn't get into the castle. Yeah. The red vine. Through the red vine. And <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, they don't just let anyone in. in. Harold was the last visitor, if I recall, and that was a while ago. Maybe you should try giving him a visit. He is the chill little guy with the guitar. Good luck. Couldn't get into the castle, huh? They must have stopped doing tours for the season. Say I know. Why don't you tell him your, their old friend Harold sent you? If Gumbo is on guard duty, he'll let you in for sure. I'll have you up there in a jiff. No problem. Say hi to King Candy for me. What? What the hell? Uh... Would he just, like, slap you with his guitar and just flung you across the level? <laughs> I guess that's what he did. 
You're going to mention Gumbo with this guy, and he's going to, without a word, just smash you with his mace. <laughs> it just, like, nails me into the ground like a cartoon. <laughs> oh, man, what a silly prank Gumbo played on you. It's not even his name. It's the name of, like, the most wanted criminal in the country. <laughs> He's not the actual guard. <laughs> Still can't let you in, Traveler, unless there's some reason you have to change my mind. Uh, Harold sent me. Oh, good old Harold. Wonder how he's holding up out there in the grove. Didn't realize he knew you. In that case, come on in. The king will be interested in speaking with you. Creak. Oh, hey, there's... These statues from the first game. Oh my god. And Are they? A glowing blue tesseract sitting on a round pedestal. Yeah, these? Oh, yeah, they are from the first game, aren't they? Yeah. From that, like, wind chime level. Yeah. Flowing river rivers of milk and honey. Gross. A deep underground lava cavern. Imagine having to have a river of milk or honey time. <laughs> Sounds gross and also possibly dangerous. Like, the river of milk would be stinky, and things would be, like, just a little bacteria in there, and the river of honey would just be picking up bugs and twigs and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Thick, overgrown pumpkin patch during a foggy night. This looks like AI generated. No, the AI revolution is brewing upon us. Kill it now with fire. These all kind of look AI generated, actually. Were these AI generated, maybe? They might have been AI generated. Oh, my, were they, though? These look a little too, like, the eh. brushwork doesn't look like it's AI generated. Maybe. I mean, they might have been. I don't know. Time is accusing whoever uploaded these images to the video game. Probably the person who made the game. I mean, this looks pretty AI generated. Of producing AI generated garbage. He said, how fucking dare you? Did you hear that? He said, how fucking dare you? <laughs> the dragon in here appears to be a tail with, like, maybe barely a wing stuck to it, so... Okay, this this one might be AI generated. And the there's a McDonald's that was sort of kind of considered for this one. These are definitely. See that? Yeah. <laughs> these are definitely these are AI generated. Boo! <laughs> Boo! Boo! That's why there was milk and honey because like those wouldn't make good rivers at all. The the description here is probably the prompt for it. Wow. Boo! Time, are you looking forward to bad art being made by a computer instead of people? Great. Look at oh, this mother hacker. You. Look at this mother hacker. <laughs> nice sunglasses. Whoa, check it out, my dudes. Almost a weary traveler coming out to hang in the sweetest kingdom out there. I miss when you were a skeleton. <laughs> so, maestro. What pray tell brings you to this little chocolate nook of the world? Fame? Fortune? To check out this dope artifact? Nice castle. Oh, I see. I hope you have to climb on top of him like you did the skeleton, but like also putting your foot in your mouth, <laughs> your foot in his mouth. <laughs> and like, oh, oh, excuse me. Well, uh, I just have like peanut brittle or chocolate stuck to my foot, so it's fine. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> <laughs> You're the one making it weird, King Candy. I'm not the one putting your foot in my mouth, he says back. <laughs> oh, I see you're digging my exuberant and lavish abode, maestro. Exquisite taste we both have. I own many fanciful and fantastical items, from ancient statues to the finest art. Yes, only the highest qual in quality. Feel free to stay and enjoy the sights for as long as you like. I'd be stoked to inspire someone as, such as yourself. Is there anything else I can import upon you, Maestro? Anything interesting? God, a land of candy sounds horrible. Oh, to awful, me. yeah. It just sounds sticky <laughs> and like your teeth would hurt. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you, you know it. This is the place to be for interesting news and or events of the most exciting caliber. I'll be straight with you, Maestro. My delicious kingdom is in need of some dire work. I've got the gummies helping out, but they can get like a little lagged out more than more often than I'd care. If you can find me a promising and experienced hand willing to work for yours truly, I'll forever be in your debt. I'll even consider handing over that shiny new artifact behind me that I found recently. What do you say? Righteous. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Absolute pal you are, my little friend. Most excellent. Chill around the castle if you're feeling a little weary. Otherwise, return when you've completed my quest. Now I probably go. Uh, can I? 
climb you? Can I climb you and just take it? Can I just take it? <laughs> no, he's got a force field on it. Excuse me, you say, like, putting your fingers in his nose to climb up. Excuse me, excuse me, hold on. Whoa, you don't know Gumbo, do you? He says. <laughs> Gumbo. <laughs> Gumbo's scary. He's like trying to run away, but he just like, he engages, he does some calculations in the brain, he just throws his mace in the air and just clocks you in the head as you're running away. I'm like all, all the way over here when he does it. <laughs> you're like a speck in the distance and he just throws it and he just waits what? a few seconds and it gets you. That was dangerous. You gross, this thing's like not made of candy, that's disgusting. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Ew, gross, icky, yuck. Okay, I don't think I was supposed to climb that. Set piece is done, get out of here. <laughs> we just wanted to show that nature cannot stand against the candy revolution. Yeah. All will be diabetes soon. <laughs> AI is the wave of the future. AI will make all diabetes. <laughs> Alright, now he's gonna cut it down. My nap is over. I've woken up from my third <laughs> diabetic coma today. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I'm too scared to even think about going over there. What if the hermit tries to eat me or something? You are made out of candy. Maybe you're braver than me. But, but you're like invading their territory. <laughs> <laughs> he would be right to eat you, actually. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like an invasive species and also you're edible. So, I mean, <laughs> it just makes sense. Just makes sense. Maybe you're braver than me. Yeah, you should go meet him. I can make a temporary bridge for you. Hold on. And then it falls the other way and squishes him. Just like splats like a marshmallow. <laughs> you go on ahead without me. Good luck. <laughs> like a marshmallow, he squishes in the middle, but like the sides are so poofy. <laughs> so he still has like the sides of his mouth and his eyes looking at you like, oh, you can go ahead. <laughs> well, this looks normal. Where is that coming from? Oh, sorry. I forgot about the floating islands. OK. Yeah, right. I don't know how it's getting into the floating island, but we, we don't worry about that. Can't believe James Cameron ripped off Hypnagogia about those dreams of the floating islands. Stupid floating islands. No, it's really cool. He's been writing about it since he was 13. <laughs> it's really imaginative and amazing. What if island but float? Mm. I'm going to go ahead and dedicate a few hundred bazillion dollars to this. <laughs> Hello? There's a small stone hut here. It looks occupied by someone who doesn't wish to be disturbed. Hello, I'm not edible. Can you talk to me? I'm made out of crystal. You literally cannot eat me. You can't fool me, candy crystal boy. That's rock candy. You're made out of hard rock candy. Yeah. <laughs> Knock on the sturdy wooden door. Hello? What do you want? Who are you? It's here that the candy mace hits you in the head. <laughs> Bonk! Ah! It just shatters you to bits. <laughs> <laughs> A friend. Uh, uh, and he just closes the door and it's like, oh. <laughs> a friend? I haven't heard anyone call me that in a quite a long time. Hello. Hey, look, it's this guy. It's a grave, grave digger guy. Yeah. Hello there. I don't think I know you. Is there something you need? Help the king. You tell him of the king's plight. Bah, I thought I'd never heard of that greedy, sugar-crazed madman again. That king of ours has turned into a wackadoodle ever since he came across that strange hunk of rock a while back. Excuse me, he's turned into a snickerdoodle, actually. <laughs> delicious, delicious snickerdoodle. Mmm. Mm. Why do you think I secluded myself way out of here? He's even started clearing out the natural forest to plant his awful candy trees. We used to be close friends. I'd almost call him my brother. I don't know if I'd ever give him a second chance. You could try. God, I hate it ever since that meteor landed. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me think for a second. Uh, hmm, well, I may be a hermit, but I won't deny help to anyone who may need, maybe may be in need, especially since he and I have history together. We used to be big time explorers. We did. We were always competing to see who could find the greatest sorts of treasure until it went to his head. It was only ever a hobby for me, but he took it so seriously, he ruined a lot of, really ruined a lot of the fun of it. Now he's gone and assumed as a wacky persona. I keep hoping he'll come back around one of these days. Wacky. Maybe being there is a sign for something better. Ah, uh, what a bother. All right, then. I'll see what I can do. Let me go and give him a talking to and find out what exactly he needs. I'll meet you. I'll meet you over there, then. What? What? Five years later. Oh. 
Oh, the diabetes is kicking in hard today, you say, like a big swollen up crystal boy. <laughs> the candy is even worse now. Oh, God, it rained and now everything's so sticky. <laughs> Everything is melty. Oh, this was a bad idea. The king is an idiot. <laughs> Well, I'm here now. I'm standing like an old man in some kind of cartoon from Japan. <laughs> yeah. He's waiting on you to start his announcement. Go and talk to him. I got gumbo. Okay, so point number one, King. This is stupid. Stop. <laughs> you finally returned, little maestro. Point number two. Can I just have the thing behind you? I just want. I, I, I just want. I just want the thing. Can I have can it? I get that, and I get to leave, and I never have to see this dumbass candy world again. <laughs> I, I hope it like falls into ruin instantly. I hope it rains again <laughs> like this week. I hope the actual islands melt out from under you. <laughs> the foundations of the islands melting away every time it rains. <laughs> you finally returned, little maestro, and I see you brought along an old mentor of mine. That is most ace. Now that I have everyone here, I'd like to announce a toast. Thanks to this wonderful shard, my dream is finally about to come true. With its power, I will transform this land into a decadent kingdom of sweet sprinkles. None of this natural greenery will remain. Mentor will make a most excellent worker to help tear down the rest of these trees and finish expanding the kingdom. But wait just a second. I knew you were going crazy, but now I see you're just falling off the deep end. This is not the way. These endeavors will only lead to the decay of everything we've come to appreciate. This will only lead to the decay of our teeth, King. You must think about the future. <laughs> our teeth. What do you expect to replace them with when they fall out? Candy? No. Well, the king says, stroking his chin, I hadn't thought of that, but candy might work. <laughs> no, it's sugar. It'll melt. And then I'll just replace it with more candy teeth. <laughs> what is the problem here? <laughs> Every single day. Every day, I'll just put some new hard candy teeth in my mouth, let it dissolve, <laughs> and I'll be like, well, that was my sweet treat for the day. <laughs> Time to go to sleep on my on my chocolate milk bed, he says, <laughs> sleeping. You used to be such a noble friend, but you've allowed these wild fantasies to take control of your life. I refuse to help. Silence. You will help, my old mentor. You will assume the role of this kingdom's groundsman. The shard commands it. That blasted shard needs to be destroyed. It's ruining this once naturally beautiful land. I promise that you will regret doing this, king. There are times when th sweet things need to be turned a little sour for the greater good, the good of my kingdom. It's come time to finally wrap this all up. You all have much work to do. This world is imperfect. This world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you are no longer needed, little maestro. Should we ever meet again, it will be in a sweet new world. Well, I ruined everything again, which I guess is the theme for the secret uh, secret levels this time. <laughs> You're really good at ruining everything, time. Have I told you this? It seems okay in here. Does he have anything to say? Hmm? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. I hope the shell of a once magnificent abode hasn't burdened you. Others have visited before and have become too comfortable to leave. A somber moods have an effect on some people. Alas, I digress. My heart beats with a spark of vigor, spark of vigor and I must thank you for retrieving it. Until we meet again, maestro. Oh my god. There he goes. Whoa. Goodbye. Oh, I guess he was just a fever dream. I I guess. Wow, this is why you're not supposed to eat sugary sh before you go to sleep. <laughs> you start hallucinating things. It. Also known as dreaming, I guess. Just, Would dreams classify as hallucinations? I, I suppose. That's kind of what they are. Because they're not real. They're just something your brains are making up, right? I think so. Okay. I... Oh, we have the supposed mall level. Yeah. There's apparently there's supposed to be one of the mall too. I guess. I guess we'll find out. Here's other goji. I'm gonna slurp you up. Okay, bye. And then I guess I, he made a liar out of me. It turns out. Oh. Oh, I'm in the back rooms. Welcome to the back rooms, dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is technically. Like a secret, but... Endless shopping time is what this guy called it. <laughs> Welcome to the back rooms, kid. You clicked um, through and now you're here. I hope you have enough f***ing almond milk on you <laughs> or whatever. I'll find enough almond milk. It'll be fine. It'll just spawn on the ground sometimes. 
Welcome to the 12 hour long him trying to navigate the backrooms <laughs> playthrough that we finally got around to everybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess I'll... No, find it. Go. <laughs> do it. This is him doing it. We're going to do yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say. We, this is a good opportunity, I guess, was talking about the back rooms for a second. I think they're dumb as hell. Yeah, it's kind of lame. They were cool, but then it started to become, like, video gamey, and it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's all like, oh, it's full of monsters. They'll get you. There are these groups, and they trade almond water for the supplies they need because <laughs> almond water spawns in the back room. For some reason. Fing almond water. It's completely random. It's so, so kind of time is spooky down there. Well, there see? appears to be the end, an end of it right there. Is that the end I of it? I think that's just a wall. I think it's just a wall texture, actually. Are you sure that's a wall texture? It looks like an outline of something. I mean, it's kind of an outline, but it's also kind of just a wall texture, I think. The light, the light's flashing, so it's pres presumably supposed to be a spooky, so... Yeah, just a... Whoa, this might be the exit. Whoa. There I am. That was really short. Yeah, it was just that a was little... the easiest I've ever seen someone escape the back room this time. Good job. <laughs> and I can't even get back in. You had, like, almond water and holsters. You had, like, a helmet with two <laughs> almond water containers just sipping away as you ran through that, it turns out. I was over-prepared. I didn't even have enough time to continue complaining about the backrooms. You finished it that quickly. And then this is just the regular Infinite level. Infinite yeah. shopping. Well, back to the hub. The sales, they never end. 